Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to download and install the GIMP Read Synthesizer. So let's go ahead and open up our web browser and as we install this plugin I'm going to show you how to use it as well. So we'll go for a demonstration of how to use this plugin and the first thing we're going to do is go to this website here. It's called Mediafire and this is where we can download the plugin. I'll put a link to this in the YouTube description so you can download the same plugin as well. So we'll click download here and we can see the plugins downloaded. I'm just going to open up this folder on my desktop and I'm going to drag and drop this folder into here. Uh, we can close down the browser for the moment. Like usual, the smart thing to do is just give this a quick scan with Norton's antivirus and we can see it's perfectly fine. So we'll right click and extract this file. So let's extract it. Uh, let's just do an extraction here and then we can delete the zip file. So we're left with this plugin and we've got some files uh, and some some software in here so let's go ahead and open up another Windows Explorer and in this case I'm going to go to this PC and I'm going to go to my C drive and then I'm going to go to program files here and I've already installed GIMP so if you haven't installed GIMP already you want to go ahead and download and install the GIMP software I'll put a link to the installation of the latest version of GIMP in the YouTube description as well so you want to install GIMP first then when you go to your C drive program files, you're going to go into this GIMP2 folder, then you're going to go into this lib folder, which is libraries, we'll go into that folder, then we'll go into the, let's see, we'll go into the uh, GIMP folder here, and we'll go into this 02 folder, and then inside of there you'll see plugins here. So we want to go into that plugins folder, and here you'll see all the different plugins that have already been installed. Uh, as default. So the first thing we want to do is select all of these files with our mouse, all of these, and we're just going to right click, hold down the right mouse button, drag and drop them here, and then say copy here. And you might get this prompt pop up, just say continue, and then you'll, you'll have all of the plugins here. So you've got all these different plugins, you've got the hill tool, you've got transparency selection, all these different ones. I'm going to show you a couple of these. We'll probably look at one of these today. I'm going to do some more tutorials afterwards explaining these plugins, how they work. The next thing we'll do is, um, depending on your operating systems, if you go to the start menu here and then type in um, system and then look at system information, you'll either be running uh, x64, which is 64-bit, or you'll be running x86, which is 32-bit. So you can see there's a Windows 32 and a Windows 64 folder here. So if, you're, if your system is saying that you've got a, uh, let's see, system type x64, then we want this folder. If it says x86, then you want the 32-bit folder. So you need to double check that, which one is relevant for you. For me, you can see it's 64. So I'm going to open up this 64 folder. I'm going to copy these two files. I'm going to select them with my mouse. Right-click, hold down the mouse button with the right mouse button drag them here and say copy here and then click continue so we'll have all of the files installed here now Got all of the plugins and the executables here let's close this and close this down and we'll open up GIMP software okay so we've got GIMP open and we need a couple of test images to work with so I'll open up this uh, this uh, browser and we'll go and download this file so let's click download here I'll put a link to this image in the YouTube description as well so you can follow the tutorial. And we'll, we'll download one more other example. We download this image as well. So we downloaded them from Unsplash so we can use them for free. We'll open up this folder and we'll drag and drop these two pictures in here. So we've got these two different images. Let's set them as thumbnails. Let's work with this first image here, the guy doing the backflip. Let's close down the browser and we'll open up GIMP software. And we'll drag and drop this picture into GIMP. We'll click convert. So we can basically what we want to do is get rid of this guy, right? That's what the resynthesizer will help us do. Quickly remove this guy. There's a few different ways to do this in GIMP, but let's use this new tool that I've downloaded and we show you that example. So I'm going to use the zoom tool here. Click on that. I'm just going to draw around this guy like this. And that will zoom in onto him. And then I'll use the lasso tool or the free select tool here, this one. And just make sure that the mode is set to replace uh, the current selection, this option here. And we'll leave everything else as it is. And I'm just going to hold down my left mouse button and draw around him. So I don't want to get too close to him. I want to leave a gap around him like this. Something like this. You can see there's a bit of a gap around the selection. And we'll just draw around him like this. And I'm just going to join it here. The, the, you'll see like this little orangey yellow dot. We'll let go of the left mouse button, hit the enter key. And when we hit the enter key, you can see the marching ants. This is like the selection, right? 
Then we're going to go to filter. And you're going to see this new option called enhance. And underneath enhance, you're going to see hill selection here. So we're going to click on that. And this is part of the resynthesizer plugin. And you've got content sample width. So basically, this plugin is going to sample 50 pixels around the selection on the outside. And then you've got the sampling from. So sample all around. So you've got a sample from the sides, from above and below. But we want to sample around the whole image or the whole selection, around the whole this whole selection. And in the filtering order, it can either be random, inwards towards center or outwards from the center. And we just want to select random because that because we've got clouds in the background, that's going to give us a better effect. We're going to click OK here. And this takes a little bit of time. It might take about 30 odd seconds. So we just wait for this plugin to do its work. And I'll explain what it's doing at the moment. So really what it's trying to do is take sample selection from outside of this image and towards the inside, moving towards this center point. And it's gonna just draw over this picture. So the goal of this, this plugin or this tutorial is to remove this guy from this image. That's what we're trying to do. It should do a pretty good job. Um, We'll try it now and see how it works out. And if there's any problems, maybe we can look at it afterwards. But I reckon it would do a pretty good job of removing this guy. There's other ways to do this in GIMP. You could use something like the um, stamp tool here, the clone tool. So that's another way of doing this. But that's more of a manual process. This is more of a automated process. I find this, uh, this tool actually very useful when I'm working in GIMP doing some graphic design software. So I've got this guy in the sky. I don't want him to be there. And now he's been removed. Right. So let's just go to select and we'll go to none. So we'll go to select none and if we zoom out, he's pretty much been removed, but you can see like, it's not a perfect job, right? So we could always go back to the clone tool here. For example, click on this clone tool and then we could set the size to something around this sort of size. Then we hold down the control key, hold down the control key, left click here somewhere, so somewhere around here. And then we can just draw over this a little bit just to, get rid of the uh, let's say the um, the repetitiveness of it but now it's gone it's pretty much gone so with a few mouse clicks we managed to remove that guy and we use the hilt the, the stamp tool here just to give it a bit more sort of um, randomization on these clouds right using this tool here I've done a tutorial on the clone tool so if you check my YouTube channel you'll find a tool on this uh, tutorial on this clone tool so let's try one more so that's pretty much that software demo done in terms of filter, enhance and hill selection. You won't find this in here until you install that, that particular plugin. So I'm going to try one more example. Let's try something a bit more tricky. So in the other image, uh, this one here, let's drag and drop that one in. We'll click convert and we've got this cow in here. So let's go to the, the zoom tool here and we'll draw a square around this cow. And you can see it's a bit more complex. So let's see how well the software will work with this. So we'll use the lasso tool here or the free select tool and we're just going to draw around the cow as well. So let's just draw around it a little bit more carefully, something like this. And we're going to leave a gap around the cow, right? We don't want to go over the cow, we just want to have a gap around it. Something like this. And then we'll hit the enter key when we want to complete our selection. So hit enter, that will complete the selection. We'll go back to filter, enhance, hill selection. We'll leave it as default settings. You can experiment with these settings. I would advise, you know, you pick a few different images, try and experiment with it, play around with the settings and see what sort of effect you get. I'm just gonna go ahead and click okay. And we'll let the software do the same process again. And let's see how well it works with something a bit more complex. We've got different shades of green in the background. Um, you know, we've got different things going on in this image compared to the last one where it was just clouds in the background. So let's see how well this works. And we might need to do a little bit of work on the image afterwards, you know, do a little bit of fixing, but that won't take long. Let's see how it works. So that's it. The cow is gone. Let's go to select none and we zoom out. It's done a pretty good job, but you can still see there's shadows here. So we want to get rid of those shadows. So we'll click on the stamp tool again or the clone tool here and we'll make it a bit smaller this time the size of the brush so I'm having it about this size and I'm going to hold down the control key and then left click here so that will be what I am using to replicate and then I'm just going to left click over this shadow here to get rid of it right here 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 and now you can see let's just use our move tool here let's just zoom out and that cow was never there, 
it's been removed so that's how i mean you, we could do the same thing maybe with this hut so let's try that out as well i was going to finish it here but let's get rid of this hut or this little house here let's give that a go so let's uh try and zoom in on that let's see how well that works so let's use the uh, lasso tool again and we'll just draw around this hut this little house here might not work work so well but let's try we'll hit the enter key let's go to filter enhance hill selection click ok it's, it's healing a lot less this time so it won't be less complex but that's pretty much gone so let's see how well it did that job let's go to select none and zoom out and it's not too bad but i reckon that roughness there we could fix that up a little bit on the side of this mountain so what we could do is uh let's zoom in here a little bit We'll go to the stamp tool again or the clone tool here. Our brush size is a bit too big, so we'll make that a little bit smaller. Let's make it about this small. Something like this size will be good. And we'll click up uh, around here somewhere. So let's hold down the control key, click around here, and then we can um, just draw back in some of this here as well. And let's click down here. Let's get some of this in here let's zoom out and you pretty much wouldn't know that hut that house was there right so we managed to move the house and the cow and it's done a pretty good job so that software helped us to do the bulk weight of the work and now we just use a few extra tools afterwards just to tidy up the image and remove that cow and also remove the um the little hut here and in the previous example we removed the guy that was uh, that was doing the backflip over the clouds Okay, so that's how we use the, well, that's how we download and install the resynthesizer tool. That's that software we just downloaded and install it and also how to use the tool. There are some other tools in there as well that I'm going to try and look at afterwards, but I think we need to go through them one by one in separate tutorials. And then that way we can look at them specifically how we use them within GIMP. So let's minimize this. That's the end of this tutorial. And I look forward to seeing you on the next DCP web tutorial.